game. Here we go. First game of winner semifinals. Cyro versus Salim Shady. No surprises in the characters. We have Squirtle and his whole team versus Me Brawler. Uh, this matchup, this one right here, Squirtle, Me Brawler is probably not good for Squirtle. Squirtle is way too light. And I think he's this right enough size that Sire can just get easy combos to death. Oh, that air dodge might kill him. Yeah. He had no jump. Air dodge off stage. So unfortunate there. He was at almost 100%, so it's not too bad. But always you want to survive as long as possible. Oh, very good recovery, going high, making sure that he doesn't get hit by anything dumb from Squirtle. Oh, that may be it. Just that grab there, yeah, that's it. I think with any of the other Pokemon, he might have lived. He was at 78% after the hit. Oh, the armor of the side beast helping Cyber there. Oh, that's a huge side beat into an upper. Salim guarantees the kill. And goes back to Squirtle. Ooh, back here, double back here, triple back here. Does he get the hydro pump? No, he does not. That's a lot of damage. Is he back to even at this point? Oh, no, never mind. I forgot he was down a stock. So percent wise this is pretty close, however Salim did lose that one stock way too early. Oh, you saw too much out of shield and gets the kill. So it was a very commanding win from Cyro. Up 1-0 right now. That that one Stock that Salim lost, you could counter as an SD. But even then, he was down two stocks at the end of the, set, the game. He goes to Smashville this time. It's a much bigger platform on the center stage, which I think that helps Ivysaur the most. And lower pla smaller blast zones overall. That could help me, Brawler, getting kills earlier on with the up B, especially with a bigger platform in the middle. But I do think this is a better stage for a Pokemon Trainer. So let's see. Game 2. Oh, nice side B. It's not really good at that. Just throwing out a weak, but... Oh, wait, is that gonna be it? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So that's the problem with the platform. It's a little bit bigger than... No, much bigger than PS2 platform, so it gives, it gives him a lot of more chances to get the grab and killed so early. What I was gonna mention... Okay, that policy worked. What I was gonna mention was that Cyro likes going for those... Something like an up tilt or dash attack that sends you up and not too far, and then baits you out with something. Sometimes he goes for up tilt, sometimes he goes for grab. We saw earlier he went for a side knee. It's just a really good way to punish landings. Oh, goes for the double jab roll read into an up E. Wow. So three stars to one again from Cyro. This time Salim is staying with Charizard, trying to get the kill. That's going to do it. So two stocks to one, looking at like game one already. Exactly the same. Let's see, what can Salim do differently? I think Squirtle is just not getting enough damage. Okay, that's 50%. That's still not enough time to switch to Ivy. So he switches to Ivy at that time, probably to get out of the combo. Oh my god, he just up out of that. 
Close out of the second hit of the back here. Oh, that might be it. He goes to Charizard, has to Flare Blitz, but now he's stuck with Charizard. And he probably doesn't want to go Squirtle unless he gets rid of his stuff. He just trades with it, Flare Blitz. So we look, he's staying, Charizard. Probably has to cheese or just find an opportunity to switch out. Gets the Sour Spot down and sending him up to the stage. And it was pretty much undetectable. So now Sour up 2-0. Salim looking to make now a reverse trio to make it back. Goes to PS2. Start the battle, Roller. Pokemon Trainer. Same characters back to PS2. Thirty-six percent already from Salim. Okay, that's a huge down air. Doesn't get a big extension enough, but thirty-seven percent is pretty good. Oh wow, he fell out of that backer and down air, but Salim made it work in his favor. Oh, sorry, just tried to go for a really raw up there. Okay, nice nail that's gonna send him off stage. But Cyro again, very smart recovering high, as high as possible. Oh, okay, that bounced a little too much for Salim. Goes to Charizard, so he makes it back, but now he's stuck with Charizard. Okay, he shields that time and gets full back down. He could have gone for so many things, and Daniel I think was the one not very guaranteed, he was almost on stage. I was gonna go for 3, okay, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Pokemon Trainer can survive the Suicide Side B. And Sarah doesn't really go for those too often. He dies there, I think he's air dodge and died too early because of that. He's looking a little better than the last two games, but still in Cyrus' favor. Okay, good dash attack, but does not get a combo. Very good. To match out the Nair there was really smart. Because if he fell out of the down like it happened, he, the, 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 the Nair comes out really fast enough. Okay, 129%. Oh, wow. The ball bounced on the platform there. Oh, nice upper. I like the back into upper. It's another one. Next upper could kill if he gets it high enough. But Cyro gets it back here and goes on last stock for Salim Shady potentially. Oh, that down tilt was so good. And the pair was so good too. Oh, that might be it because of the change to Squirtle. Forward smash is going to take it across the stage. 3-0 for Cyro. Moves on to winner's finals. And I'm playing on stream next.